Hi, this is Abhinav Joshi, Virtualization and Cloud Solutions Architect at NetApp. In this demo, I will walk through the future integration between VMware vCloud Director, NetApp Storage Service Catalog, and VMware vCenter Orchestrator. This integration allows the automated provisioning of infrastructure resources and virtual data centers in VMware vCloud Director. VMware vCloud Director is a new product from VMware. It leverages the power and flexibility of virtualization through VMware vSphere and allows the abstraction and pooling of infrastructure resources into logical service offerings. vCloud Director provides the automation and management required by service providers and enterprise customers to build internal and external crowds. vCloud Director and NetApp Unified Storage enables IT as a service with the desired scalability, elasticity, secure multi-tenancy, and efficient data protection. Virtualization with VMware vSphere allows more efficient use of physical server compute resources along with the storage and network resources. vCloud Director provides a further layer of abstraction on top of the vSphere resources by allowing the grouping of vSphere resources into logical service offerings with specific costs. These service offerings are known as provider VDCs. In this example, I have a gold and a silver provider VDC with a gold offering built out of the resource pools with high CPU and memory shares and data stores on SAS disks. And the silver offering is built out of resource pool with low CPU and memory shares and data stores on serial 88 disks. The provider VDCs are used as the source of resource allocation to individual tenants. Each tenant has self-service access portal where they can efficiently manage their virtual infrastructure resources. Based on the tenant requirements for virtual machines, further layers of abstractions are created called organization VDCs with a resource allocation from the provider VDCs. In this example, both the tenants org1 and org2 have few VMs that require the gold class of service. Therefore, the org VDCs are created from the parent goal provider VDC. Org2 also has a few test and dev VMs that don't have high SLA requirements. Therefore, another org VDC is created from the silver provider VDC. To be highly scalable, elastic and efficient, cloud solution demands the tiers of compute, storage and network service offerings to be rapidly provisioned and available in vCloud Director for on-demand consumption by different tenants. The rapid provisioning of infrastructure resources and virtual data centers can only be efficiently achieved using workflow orchestration tools. Traditional storage provisioning for meeting the requirements of different virtual data centers in vCloud Director could essentially mean selecting from a variety of storage options and settings. This process can be very time consuming or inefficient requiring a lot of interaction between the different operational teams and also prone to errors. How about the simplicity and efficiency with service level storage provisioning and management, allowing the end users to select from the list of storage service offerings. These service offerings encapsulate the different provisioning and option settings. Storage service catalog capability in NetApp Provisioning Manager exactly does that. It represents a set of storage services with predefined provisioning and protection policies, enabling SLA-based data store creation and management. It provides a higher level abstraction of the storage resources and settings, similar to VMware vCloud Director, that provides higher level abstraction of the vSphere resources. The storage service catalog capabilities greatly simplify the processes around storage provisioning and can be exposed to orchestration tools via APIs. Instead of provisioning LUNs or NFS volumes directly on the storage array and selecting a variety of options and settings, you leverage the NetApp Storage Service Catalog with predefined service offerings to provision storage. I would like to highlight again that this demo showcases the future integration. To provision data stores today, we still recommend leveraging the NetApp Virtual Storage Console available as the vCenter plugin. The next step is to attach the storage to the ESX host, ensuring adherence to best practices. Same way you manually provision other vSphere resources. Cloud admins traditionally have fine control over the CPU and memory resources for virtual data centers. 
with NetApp Storage Service Catalog, they don't need to understand the storage array attributes and are able to provide the same level of control for data stores. To make the infrastructure resources available in vCloud Director, this still requires the manual creation of provider VDCs. Based on individual tenant demands, org VDCs can be created from the provider VDC. To achieve higher levels of operational efficiency and being able to rapidly give out services to the tenants, it requires automating the entire process of provisioning the vSphere resources and creating the provider virtual data centers in VMware vCloud Director. VMware vCenter Orchestrator exactly does that. It automates the task for VMware vSphere and enables the orchestration between multiple platforms in the solution. It allows the administrators to turn the predefined best practices into automated workflows. In this demo, we will showcase the integration between vCloud Director, NetApp Storage Service Catalog and vCenter Orchestrator to automate the entire process of provisioning the infrastructure resources and provider virtual data centers in vCloud Director. The first step in the automated workflow is the creation of the resource pool and the data store leveraging the VMware vCenter Orchestrator and NetApp Storage Service Catalog integration. The next step is the automated creation of provider VDCs in vCloud Director backed by the newly created infrastructure resources in VMware vSphere. We are logged into VMware Cloud Director as administrator and see the list of existing provider VDCs. This is the vSphere environment where the resource pool and data store backing the new provider VDC will be created. This is the NetApp management console where the storage services are predefined. Based on the settings and options defined in the storage services, data sets are created that are then mounted to ESX hosts as data stores. This is VMware vCenter Orchestrator. At the bottom we see the NetApp plugin. This NetApp plugin allows the vCenter Orchestrator to interact with NetApp via APIs and invoke the storage services based provisioning operations. Let's explore the storage service catalog for the existing storage services that have been predefined based on the requirements. We see that there is an existing gold storage service. Now let's execute the workflow that leverages the NetApp plugin to create and attach storage to the ESX host, creates the resource pool, and then finally the new provider VDC in VMware Cloud Director. Let's specify the VMware Cloud Director where the provider VDC has to be created. Let's specify the ESX cluster where the resource pool will be created. Let's specify the NetApp storage service for data store provisioning. We will choose the predefined gold storage service here. Next we specify the name of the provider VDC. At the bottom you see the options to specify the CPU and memory details for the resource pool and the size of the data store. The workflow is getting executed. Seems like the resource pool creation task has already completed and now the vCenter orchestrator is interacting with NetApp Storage Service Catalog to create the data sets on the storage array. Flipping back to the NetApp Management Console, we see that a 100 gig data set has been created leveraging the gold storage service. We also see the different options and settings associated with this data set as predefined in the storage service. Seems like the data store provisioning operation has finished and now the vCenter orchestrator is interacting with the VMware Cloud Director to provision the new provider VDC. This new provider VDC will be backed by the newly created data store and the resource pool. At the bottom, we see that the provider VDC creation task has completed successfully. Now let's flip back to the VMware Cloud Director and verify the creation of the new provider VDC. The new provider VDC has been successfully created and backed by the newly created resource pool and data store. Back in the vCenter, we can see the newly created resource pool. Here is the newly created data store backing the provider VDC. Let's explore the provider VDC. Here we see the newly created NFS data store. We can also see the ESX hosts in the vSphere cluster where the resource pool was created. 
As we saw in this demo, a new provider VDC was created in a matter of few minutes along with the resource pool and data store backing the provider VDC. The data store was automatically created leveraging the NetApp storage service catalog capability. To summarize, the integration between NetApp storage service catalog, VMware vCenter orchestrator and vCloud director provides a single pane of glass workflow automation to provision the infrastructure resources and virtual data centers. It provides fully automated SLA-based provisioning of storage resources, ensuring the adherence to best practices. The integration helps the service providers and enterprise customers to more efficiently meet the ever-growing demands of their tenants and enables the clouds to be more scalable, elastic, and cost-efficient. This has been Abhinav Joshi, Virtualization and Cloud Solutions Architect at NetApp. If you would like to know more about the solution, please talk to your NetApp sales representative. We would be happy to help you deploy the next generation cloud infrastructures. Thanks and have a nice day.